Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to morph particles using different volumes. In this simplified scene, I've got this text that uh, changes at around frame 100 from the word volume to the word morph uh, just by keyframing the spline. And I'm emitting static particles uh, in a cube that encompasses the text. So this is what I get. Now, particles cannot be attracted to volumes directly, but they can be indirectly. So let's turn this off for a second, select the connect, and let's go over here and create a mesh emitter. Set it to volume mode with a voxel size of 2, and I'm going to emit constantly 10,000 particles per frame, but with a life expectancy of only two frames. So if I turn this off, you will see some sort of noisy particle distribution. And because these are generated inside the volume of the object, I can use a predator prey to attract the other particle. So let's turn these on. Let's go and add a predator prey. Let's go down here, predator prey. How are we going to take this particle group and drag it as the predator group and the other instant particle group, the one that creates a noise? I'm going to put it here. I don't want these to flee, but I do want the radius to be 75. And now let's rewind and press play, and you can see the particles are attracted. You can change this if you want to capture more of the particles. I'm going to take my secondary particle group and just make it invisible. Rewind, press play, and you can see that the particles are attracted to the volume, but they're continuing their journey, and it makes this look funny. So let's go and add a friction with um, a significant amount, maybe 70, just to tame the particles a bit. So now the particles are moving a bit more orderly. Excellent. And uh, you will see that when the morph happens, that they're only going to move to the closest uh, particles. So just between 95 and 105 frames, I'm going to use a condition to control that. And I'm going to put this on the main particle group. I'm going to distance them by using a flock modifier as a child of the condition, and it will only have the separation strength. And the values are going to be around 5 and 10. And the condition needs to be in the range of 95 to 105 frames. So let's rewind, press play. The particles are going to be attracted, and around frame and 95, they're going to explode outwards, and then they're going to be caught by the other volume. You can change the values to tweak the way the morph works, but in a nutshell, that's how you morph particles using volumes. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.